Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are on the Isle of Scale for the Tasteless Traceless Challenge which entails eliminating one of our targets with Lethal Poison, one of my favourite kills. So for this challenge we will have some Lethal Poison in a vial stored at the gatehouse. We will be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, some coins and a silenced pistol. So with all of that said, let's get reacquainted with our target, shall we? Sophia Washington, with little regard for local culture or even human life, they have it coming. So right from the start and off the bat, the first thing we're going to do is retrieve our lethal poison vial. And that is up at the gatehouse, which is also where we have an opportunity to take out the surveillance system, as we have done in many of these challenges. So we will utilize that opportunity as well. So we're going to make our way up towards the main entrance to the castle, past the entrance stairs, up the drain pipe beyond. We're going to go into the security room just to our right here. And just on one of the bottom bunks, we will find our lethal poison. And we're going to exit the same way we came in, make our way across the courtyard, selecting our silenced pistol as we go. We're going to hug the door to the security room, uh, hug the wall even, open the door, and using the instinct, we're going to take out the surveillance system. So from here, we're going to make our way to the crypt, just like we do normally. And we are going to secure ourselves a guard's outfit. Now this isn't strictly necessary. You can bypass this next bit if you feel brave. So once we're past the Phoenix effigy into the crypt area, and we are going to make our way into the sarcophagus room just in front of us here once the guard leaning on the sarcophagus moves away which he is doing now so we're going to make our way inside grab the assault rifle and drop it on the floor on our way back out and like i said you can skip this step if you wish and just go straight up the ladder which is just off screen opposite us and then out onto the helipad and secure an outfit there but I don't feel brave, so I'm gonna take the guard's outfit. So when the guard returns, he will spot the gun, he will move to take the gun away from the area, and we can then render him unconscious from around the corner, hide his body in the crate provided, and take his outfit. Not that it really matters much, because once we go up this ladder, we will be trespassing again, which is why I said you can skip this step if you wish so once we go up the ladder we're going to just vault straight out of the window to our left onto the helipad area and around to our left we will find a generator which we are going to turn off and then on again and then hide in the crate behind us and that will attract the attention of one of the warehouse workers up in this area and when he comes around to investigate we can then exit our hidey hole sneak up behind him render him unconscious and we're going to deposit him in the crate provided and take his outfit his is the outfit we kind of require so once we are now no longer trespassing we can make our way down towards the alleyway between the castle and the warehouse be very much aware of the two patrolling Archean guards one of which will be an enforcer they're not here for me at the moment so we can approach the drain pipe at the back of the alleyway up to the first floor and off to our left 
we're going to duck into the security room here through the second window and we're going to grab the flare that is just on the countertop there before continuing on to the roof up via this drain pipe and um, up here we will encounter a number of guards and Jebediah Block, one of the architects. So we're going to approach the generator here, turn it off and then turn it on again. Uh, be aware of where the constant is. He will now be making his way here. He's quite a long way off at the moment, so we have plenty of time. So once somebody comes to investigate the generator, we can then get behind them, render them unconscious, grab their gun and their body, and we're going to hide them just where we were hiding. Uh, that's not quite good enough, I don't think. We want to get him nicely tucked up if we can. That'll do. We're going to drop his gun there as well. We can take his outfit if we so wish. Uh, we'll do eventually. But for now, we're just going to rinse and repeat the same technique with the generator. And that will attract the attention of the second guard in the area. Uh, just checking up once again on where the constant is. And we still have a fair bit of time before he arrives. So we should be able to render the second guard unconscious when he gets here. Again, collect up his gun, collect up his body and hide him behind the wall here where we were. So at this point we're going to take one of their outfits and we're going to collect up the two soda cans in the area. So there's one just here by the generator and there's one just over beyond Mr. Block there. So at this point the constant has just arrived so we are now going to have to wait for the constant and Jebediah to have their little conversation. Uh, this does drag on for a little while, but eventually the constant will leave and Jebediah Block will move over to the left. Uh, he will, I believe, make a phone call or pull out an iPad of some sort. And we are going to then launch one of our soda cans at his head and the second at the final guard looking out to sea. Again, we're going to hide all of the bodies just in case the constant comes back to this area, which he very well may do. So we want the area looking nice and clean when he does. We don't want him raising any alarms. So once we have everybody safely tucked up behind this wall here, we're going to take Jebediah Block's outfit. We can find him amongst this mass of bodies. We're going to drop that assault rifle. We don't want that. There we go. So next up we are going to do a little bit of setup. Uh, we still need to get up to the meeting room and poison the glass of wine that Sophia will be drinking from. So we're going to make our way into the Hyperborium area. There is Sophia. We're going to go out the door just to the left of the bar here. And we're going to turn off the fuse box and then turn it back on again that's on the wall here. That will attract the attention of one of the serving staff. We're going to hide behind this box here. We're also going to drop our silence pistol as we will be getting a frisk on our way upstairs. So once the waiter arrives we're going to give him a second to discover the fuse box and let the door close before we sneak up behind him, render him unconscious. We're going to drag him away from the door. He drops a castle key. Now Jebediah also drops one of these keys. I'm not sure exactly what doors they open, but I did grab Jebediah's. So we're going to make our way into the Hyperborean room. Directly to our right is the stairwell upstairs. And we're going to go through a quick frisk before making our way up to the meeting room, which is two floors up. Uh, fortunately, we can only go up one floor before we encounter a key card door. So we're going to go up to the next floor and straight out the door ahead of us. And then up the drain pipe to the floor above. And in through the door in front of us, you can see there. And this will lead us to the meeting room. And we can approach the table by the fire here. 
and apply our lethal poison to Sophia's glass. So everything is now set up, all we have to do is retrace our steps back downstairs to the Hyperboreum area and redon the uh, Jebediah block disguise and go and speak to Sophia Washington and tell her we are ready to agree with her proposal in a vote. So we're going to collect up our silence pistol as well because we won't be getting frisked when we go back upstairs the second time. So we're just going to approach Sophia. After due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along then. I'll call a vote at once. So this is the point of the level where we're going to experience many cutscenes and dialogue sections and slow walking while we follow Zo uh, Sophia up to the meeting room. Uh, we're going to collect up a few more of the architects along the way in this room here. Friends and founders. The recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. So with the other architects now in tow, we're going to make our way up to the meeting room and listen to Sophia's little speech. And we are going to vote in accord with her decision. So if everyone else is going to vote yes, we are going to vote yes as well. So we're going to take our seat now and we're going to let the scene play out. We may skip through some of it because it is a bit long-winded. Let's reiterate. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. Aye. Five ayes. The vote is unanimous. The motion is passed. And now? I believe a toast is in order to the future. Signed, sealed, and delivered. To, to the, the future. future. The, the future. future. The future. Both targets down. Yeah, Impressive work, 47. Yeah, and now, to confront the constant. So, after that very dramatic end for Sophia, all that's left for us to do after securing the Tasteless Traceless challenge is to make good our escape. And we are going to make our way towards the Constance Tower. And we need to make sure that both the patrolling guards are away from the front door. We're going to approach the guard on the left, render him unconscious and hide him in the stairwell before making our way around the ledge and up to the roof which is just up the stairs to our left here and we can signal our awaiting helicopter. So there we go, one more challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.